so for today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys the makeover of my upstairs media room slash bonus room. I actually had no plans to redecorate the space. It actually just kind of came up in a random conversation my daughter and I were having. So I'm showing you guys like the before shot, what I'm working with. When I first moved in, I just thought it would be a fun way to decorate in a different style that I was used to. Um, I would have called this modern farmhouse with a touch of industrial, but really not, I mean, barely. And um, yeah, it just, and when you see the before and after, I think you'll definitely be able to tell how much better I decorate within my actual style because I think that the result is just astronomically different, even though I kept the major pieces and players, I guess, in, in this game of makeover. Um, but actually our conversation, I think I was remarking about wanting to change something up, like one little small detail. And my daughter was like, oh, I actually really like, you know, how you did the living room, which we never really talk about decor. She just isn't really into that. So I was really surprised by this. I don't know why, but I just really thought that she liked the more modern look with the black and she was like no I love how you have the downstairs and so I was like you know what <laughs> like I'm gonna make over this space and it just kind of like was my excuse to do it I guess so the first thing I wanted to do which by the way I'm not gonna talk through all of this I'm gonna let you guys just kind of watch what's going on because I do walk you guys through the end and just tell you how I solved for things because a big Reason, another big reason why I wanted to make over this space is I thought there were empty wall spaces that needed attention. I didn't have proper placing for like drinks and stuff, you know, we're up there watching movies. So this room definitely needed some changing. So, um, but yeah, so I'm just going to let you guys kind of enjoy the makeover parts, watch me, you know, change things. Like even this plant, I think, looks more modern than it does my style i would say my style would be farmhouse meets french country with a hint of tuscan and a hint of shabby chic <laughs> so it's like four different elements um in one um but yeah i don't know i just that's kind of what i think when i look at my decor so we're gonna get all of the stuff the old stuff moved out the new stuff moved in and then wait till the end for the reveal and how I walk through everything. And also everything will be linked in the description box below as well. to talk about this cleaning solution that I used. I wanted to show you guys that I have these stains on this ottoman. It's from um, Loxy. Loxy loved sitting here and you can see there's chocolate stains on the armrest and I had actually tried numerous times you guys to get these stains off. It never worked. I looked up a YouTube video and so I'm gonna link in the description box the 
items I used and it was the most genius cleaning solution. I'll actually try to I'll try to find the YouTube video as well and link the lady who I found that talked about this, but it's basically a uh, detergent rubbing alcohol baking soda Dawn dish soap and that was the solution. And you can see here how brand new it looks. This is dried the next day. So I could not believe it. And I actually didn't put too much like, um, you know, elbow grease, I guess you could say into it. She used a brush and I thought the brush that I used was too harsh on the fabric I was using. So I actually just used a cloth. I know you guys didn't catch that part. I didn't film it, but I used a cloth and it worked out really well. But again, I'll link her video um, down below. A new feature that I started really getting into in this house because I've never done it before are adding twinkle lights. I really never knew how fun and beautiful they can look and still complement, you know, a nice space without looking too, I don't know, kitty or, or whatever the descriptive word is. I actually um, saw this being done on an Instagram account that I follow. I think her name is Flora at home. I'm not sure. I'll link her down below. I've mentioned her before and when I stumbled upon her Instagram page, I saw that, you know, all her posts and she had twinkle lights throughout a lot of her rooms, living room, kitchen, and it just, it still looked like a beautiful space, an adult space, and I really loved how she did that. So it's definitely something that as time goes on, you'll probably see me add more twinkle lights. I really also enjoy creating 
the most cozy and charming atmosphere at night. So I thought, you know what? This space up here is gonna need some twinkle lights. So I added them to the window. I will talk about curtains and panels and Roman shades at the end of the video, um, but it definitely needed some twinkle lights. And I love these because they're battery operated and there's a remote with them as well. So you can change how often they blink. They can just stay on solid. You can change the dimmer light as well. Highly recommend, pretty inexpensive. Got mine from Amazon and mine, as like I said, everything's linked down below. you guys so I have finished at least for this video there are a couple of things that I still need to work on you can clearly see that I do not actually have frames or changed out the frames for the movie posters and that's simply because I still couldn't make a decision on if I wanted white frames or wood frames so eventually I'm gonna be switching them out and I think it will really uh, also contribute to changing and elevating the space um, and I think the frames will go a lot better with obviously the rest of the the style I guess that's going on in this space but I have to say that going through this whole entire decorating bit what I truly feel like changed the space completely had I had just left it the way that it was what I realized what was missing from it that made me feel like something about this space was off are the lamps. Um, the fact that I moved this table this way and added two lamps, like a decent good size lamps for this space, and then added a lamp in the corner, really in my opinion, just m turned this space around completely. Cause I could have left, you know, the black pillows and those were nice and everything. You know, I had, you know, the tree and the mirror here. In my opinion, it was the lamps and the rug as well. The rug definitely makes this space so much more cozy and actually I was not going to put the rug down. Uh, I unraveled the rug and thought no this isn't going to work in the space and I was going to return it and then I thought you know what no you're a visual person <laughs> let's go ahead get it staged and then we'll decide and I'm really glad I did that because I love this rug. Um, and on that note, I do have um, an Amazon storefront, so you guys can shop every room I've ever showed you that I've decorated, you know, on my channel. Obviously from things that I do get from Amazon. So this is an Amazon purchase. That lamp is an Amazon purchase. So yeah, things will be linked below for you guys. But I really do feel like the lamps just took this to a whole nother place. As you can see, the TV stand, um, has remained the same. However, I have ordered one from Nebraska Furniture Mart. It's going to come in the beginning of fall and you guys are going to love it. I'm so excited for it. Um, so there will be a fall decorate with me. And then in that video, hopefully, you know, if it's delivered on time, um, you'll see the update to that. And then you'll also get to see the update to the frames. So definitely stick around if that's something you want to see. I kept this piece. I thought, you know what? It's perfect. Has that chalkboard look. We've got the green up there. And because I do have like the black elements, you know, here in the lamp right here. And then I also have the black elements on the tables. So this is the only spot that I actually wanted uh, the the black to come in is in the features that look like metal so that's just how i decorate throughout my house i didn't want that in the pillows anymore so that's why we change them out but you guys know i decorate seasonal holidays so i've kept all the black pillows because they'll be great for when i do this space for halloween 
So, and then the posters get changed out too every season and holiday. So right now, in case you're new, we've got Labyrinth, Bernie's, Goonies, and Risky Business. But I have so many posters and um, I need to probably change some of these out. But I also think that this space, I had always wanted something on this wall. And at first I was going to do like a collage of like photos, but I decided I didn't want to do that. I wanted to go with decor and this is what I constructed. It's very much me. I love it. It's light and airy and I think it fits perfect in this space. The pillows, um, you saw me rearranging them different ways. I obviously ended on this and I think it looks great. We were out here last night so they're not perfectly, you know, fluffed but you guys get you guys get the point also you can see that i kept this little piece right here with the green and then the lamps like i said and then moving this table what i did originally when i first moved in and decorated this space is i had the console table centered with the sofa and i thought you know what that's just not working so i just pulled it out a little bit more um, because it was just right here and you couldn't really get back to this corner and I just think it looks a lot better this way. So it's not technically centered with anything. It's not centered with the window nor the couch, but I think this is the right spot to put it. And then the other thing is I really thought I was gonna do curtains. I've talked about curtains for a while. I even have like a panel, um, but I realized that there's not enough space on the sides for curtains and I don't like to close in a window so there's enough space on top to add a bar but the curtains would have kind of closed in on the sides and then it does make the space look smaller so I think you're supposed to go like five to eight inches up and then like eight to ten inches this way I don't know what like the interior design um, recommendations are but I just knew I didn't have the space but I thought, let's add some twinkle lights. I think they're really cute and charming and they fit so great in the space. And we've had them on every night and it is so fun. Um, I also did the same thing in my library downstairs. And then over here, you saw that I did change out the tree, the mirror. Those were all too modern and didn't fit with this new style. So I did change the, the type of faux tree here. And then you can see I have it on a little stool. This just needs a little pot, but I haven't found one yet. So that's still on the to-do list. And then the same concept of the mirror, a round mirror, but it has the wood frame instead of the black rubber frame. The other thing that I thought was missing when I was doing this room were just like end tables, um, you know, when me and my daughter are up here, it's kind of like, where do we kind of put drinks? So that was something I wanted to solve for. And I'm so happy, you guys, because this table and this table I was about to get rid of. Because um, I was just like, you know what? I just don't know where I'm going to put them. So I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of them. And then I found the most perfect solution for them. And I'm loving these tables all over again. So I definitely love being able to repurpose decor that I've used in other places that no longer work, but then they come into another space and they're just like brand new to me all over again. So a pretty small table here, but I think it works because I wanted to make sure I created still a traffic pattern, you know, and I think that this little round table is perfect. Yes, there's this little piece here, which I think it needed. It needed a pop of green, but I can simply move it and then add I need to clean the table and add, you know, my drink. So that works out really well. And then again, over here, we've got this table and you can see that they're, they're both matching. And then again, so the metal, the metal detail here, um, I love those to be like the black, the darker metals. And then we've got this little bird cage, which I filled with some greenery, which I think I did off camera. And then that one, so these were in my kitchen when I first moved in. And then I was also like, okay, if I don't find any space for them, I'll just get rid of them, donate them. But then they ended up working out perfectly right here. So I love it. And then we've got a candle, but yeah, really pretty. I feel like this chair right here needs some type of like decorative, 
beige pillow or something, but I just, I haven't found anything quite yet. So I'm going to wait, you know, until I stumble upon the perfect pillow to put there. But anyways, here's the rug. It's very beautiful. And this lamp, again, like I was saying, I really feel like in the end, if I had to tell you guys one thing that maybe could help you and maybe look at your space, um, it could be lamps. That is what you're needing in the space to kind of elevate it and change it. So when I saw this one on Amazon, which I did have to put together, FYI, um, but it didn't take really that much time, about 20 minutes to put together. It was relatively easy. If anything I thought was tricky, it was the lamp shade because you have to put that together too. Um, but it just like clips into these metal, the m circular metal frames. So, um, but anyways, yeah, so that's linked in the Amazon storefront that I've got linked down below for you guys. But I love the shelving because then we get the green factor over in this corner, which I feel like it definitely needed that balance. Plus we get something, you know, with some height. I don't have to add another table and then a lamp. I just feel like a floor lamp was the perfect solution for this corner. And then just from this perspective, so that you guys can see this back wall, you can see that I haven't decorated the staircase. I'm not quite ready to go there. I don't honestly even know if I'm going to put anything on the stair walls. But I do feel like that back wall needed something. So that is why in the end, I put these two pieces, which also, again, I had it stashed away to... Um, give it one more chance and if I didn't use it within a couple of months these pieces were going to be Donations. I've had this for over a year. I thought it was going to be in the library I didn't end up using it. I've had that piece for over a year as well So I was very thrilled when I realized how well These two pieces could go here. So I finally put them to use and that just that honestly makes me really happy so and then this piece right here, which is my blanket rack or holder, whatever it's called. I've also had this for a really, really long time. It was in the last house, in the living room, like in the corner. And I, it was also in the pile for donation. And I was like, where am I going to use this? And then it just worked out beautifully right here. So I moved this seat up a little bit more and then put it here. Again, because I want to make sure I still have a good traffic flow, traffic pattern. You know, if there were a ton of people living here, this might be too snug of a fit. But, you know, it's most of the time just me. So it's completely fine, in my opinion, the way it is. And then we really needed some larger blankets. So we got those. The, this one we've had. But I love the colors, the cream, beige, white, green. Anyways, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment down below and let me know which part you really loved about the, the makeover. You know, was it the twinkle lights? Was it the decor on the walls? Was it the pillows? Was it the rug? I love the way this room turned out. Um, I feel like there's really not much I would change, you know, other than the little things like the frames and the pot that I need to fix. But I, I even think that I like this space a lot more than my living room, which I really love my living room. But And I hope it inspired you guys in any way, shape, or form. Like I mentioned, I will link um, where I got everything down below, including my Amazon storefront. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you guys where the pillows and everything's front in the from in the description box as well. The lamps and all of that stuff. You know the majority of this is either Amazon or Hobby Lobby, but I will still link them below. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stick around. You got to see what happens here with this TV stand and, you know, all the change up for fall. I love sharing this stuff with you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.